Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith. And today we'll be discussing some of the finer distinctions in terms of what people need to be charitable. 1 Corinthians 13 says some confusing things on this topic, and I'd like to go over some of them to see if we can learn anything new from these tough verses. And if I should have prophecy, and should know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I should have all faith, so that I could move mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. 1 Corinthians 13, 2 While faith is an important virtue, it's not as great a virtue as charity. Having the willingness to do right by others is essential, even for a person who's strong in the faith in other ways. In heaven, people can see God for themselves, so the amount of faith that they need is less great. But a charitable spirit will be just as strong, if not stronger there. And if I should distribute all my goods to feed the poor, and if I should deliver my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. 1 Corinthians 13.3 While it's easy to see how a person could commit suicide without being charitable, it's much harder to see the difference between charity and giving to the poor. There is, however, a difference. If, for instance, you were giving to the poor to make yourself look good, or so that you could win a bet, or for the purpose of making the poor decadent and encouraging them to avoid salvation, that would be an uncharitable thing to do. However, this may be the most troubling verse in the entire New Testament because its meaning is so unclear. Is not ambitious, seeketh not her own, is not provoked to anger, thinketh no evil. 1 Corinthians 13, 5 A charitable person doesn't have ambitions for the temporary things of this life, but only for things of the next life because in that life you don't gain those things at the expense of others, so desiring them isn't purely selfish. This also applies to the phrase, seeketh not her own, since when there are enough good things to go around, they don't need to be exclusively your own. While once again we see some confusing phrases in the writings of St. Paul, all of it makes sense and syncs up with the traditional understanding of heaven and salvation if you look at it the right way. We don't need to denigrate ourselves or do ourselves any serious harm in order to be charitable, and we don't need to worry that charitable actions may also benefit us. It's normal for them to do so in the very long term, or they wouldn't be good at all. We only need to make the decision to act for the benefit of others as well. Next, do we need to be driven only by spiritual things? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.